Hall effect current sensors work by measuring the magnetic field produced by the current flowing through the sensor. This technology provides high accuracy current measurement with galvanic isolation, as the IC does not touch the integrated conductor. The sensor works by placing a Hall plate magnetic sensor above the loop of an integrated primary current path. The field from the current being measured is strongest above this loop and proportional to the current. One of the challenges in using this technology is discerning between the magnetic field produced by the current being measured and other external magnetic fields from nearby current traces, magnets, or solenoids, for example. These stray fields show up as an error in the current measurement. One way of dealing with this issue is to add a second Hall plate on the opposite side of the primary current path. When the current flows through the primary path, one Hall plate will see a positive magnetic field and the other Hall plate will see a negative magnetic field. By subtracting the outputs of the two Hall plates, the result is a larger, but still proportional to the current, signal. When there's an external, stray field, its polarity will be the same on both Hall plates, meaning that the subtraction will result in no signal on the output. One is effectively measuring the field from the integrated conductor differentially, which rejects common mode fields. For more detailed information on the methodology and efficacy of this technology, please see our technology paper, Common Mode Field Rejection in Coreless Hall Effect Current Sensors, available at AllegroMicro.com. I'll now show you a quick demonstration of how well this technology works. Here we have two current sensors in series. One is the ACS712, which uses a single Hall plate, and the other is the next generation ACS724, which is a differential current sensor. I'll now turn on this power supply, which will put 10 amps through both sensors. And now I'll move this high strength magnet towards each sensor. The output of the ACS712 is the yellow trace on the scope, and the ACS724 is the red trace on the scope. You can see that the output of the ACS712 is greatly affected, whereas the output of the ACS724 barely moves. This magnet is much stronger than what would be seen in most applications, but it does a good job of showing just how effective differential current sensing technology is. For more information on Allegro's differential current sensors and evaluation boards, please visit AllegroMicro.com.